Hey boys and girls, Angry Photographers gonna reveal some secrets to you about Apple and their optical drives. The real reason they were removed. Also, a secret that Apple didn't want you to know back when they had super drives in their MacBook Pros, which is still currently. Anyway, here's the super drive. Uh, it was made by two manufacturers. Uh, last manufacturer and current manufacturer of the external USB super drive is Panasonic. Now, I have repaired a lot of MacBook Pros and built them up and install larger hard drives etc etc oh by the way how do you like my uh, personalized uh, macbook pro here what do you pretty think pretty nice huh icon great we um anyway the way they worked and i uh was number one person i still am number two but that's just because i stopped six months ago number one person in the world for answering tech support questions on the macbook air and i was getting up there as of being one of the top 20 people in the world for answering tech support questions on this, the MacBook Pro. Of course, there have been many iterations of the MacBook Pro. Why did Apple remove optical drives? It has nothing to do with optical being dead. There's a perfectly logical reason for it. why Apple removed it. By the way, here is uh, what is inside this uh, MacBook Pro. It is a Panasonic Super Drive. It's the exact same thing found in the USB... Uh, Panasonic USB 3 uh, externals. That's why uh, Apple removed all their opticals on their iMacs and their MacBook Pros. And the logical, uh, physical reason why Apple removed it is not anything to do with optical being dead. That's total bullshit. Actually, Apple tried to pass that off uh, saying, well, we're removing optical because, uh, you know, optical is becoming obsolete. That, that is only very slightly true, but the 80%, if not 90% of the reason why Apple removed the uh, hard drive, I mean, the, uh, the super drives, the optical drives from their MacBook Pro and the Mac Mini especially, which was the worst. I own four Mac Minis and I've repaired and fixed a lot of them. I used to repair Compaq and HP laptops. I have repaired a lot of these suckers as well and upgraded them. The reason why is that the, uh, the air system sits right back here and what it does is it draws air in through here but what it's also doing is drawing air in through the slot the DVD loader base slot on the Super Drive, on the iMax, on the MacBook Pro like this, and on the Mac Mini. And the secret is, is that the, uh, especially if someone had a slightly grimy house, even if you had a clean house, what was happening if you took the back plate, the bottom plate off of this, you could actually see the air track channels of dust, kind of like uh, you seeing dust roads from above, like from the sky, you can actually see the track channels of where the, uh, the laser, the super drive assembly was actually acting as an air filter whenever you had the sucker on and the air was cooling off the processor. It's sucking air in. I've actually got a flow chart that I wrote for Apple on how to take care of your MacBook Pro and how to take care of your air. The fan system where it actually sucks air in through the processor, but it's also sucking it through the super drive. And Apple was having a piss fit from hell and that they were repairing countless, endless thousands of these MacBook Pros, countless, endless, the, the worst ones were the Mac Minis, because the Mac Mini used to have a, a super drive that sat on top of the Mac Mini, because it sucked a lot of air through the slot loader on the super drive there. And on the iMacs, they were bad too, and boy, those are bitches to fix. I hate taking those uh, ones apart. The newer ones are even worse. Um, but they're acting as air filters. So what Apple was doing, Apple under warranty was spending millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars and countless thousands of man hours repairing something that wasn't really repair but it had to be repaired. What was happening is that dust was being deposited on the laser, the lens of the laser assembly of the super drive because the way the fan was sucking air through to cool the processor, it was uh, actually the super drive was acting like an air filter of the ambient air. And by God, if you had a cat or a dog in your house, you were fucked. So you just bought this MacBook new, 
you had it on and you took good care of it, just all the dust and crap in the air, your super drive would stop working. It wasn't mechanically wrong, it was just dust deposited on the lens. So therefore it couldn't read or write and so like, oh my MacBook Pro or my iMac or my Mac Mini is under warranty and I'm Apple fix it because the super drive doesn't work. Well really it does work. It's a design flaw, but it, it's not really a design flaw because there's no way to actually close that flap off. I mean, they could have made it a slot loading tray, but Apple didn't want to go with that. They wanted to go with one of these type of loaders. And as you very well know, you got to take the entire system apart to get to this and repairing this, it, it, the little screws in here to get to the laser assembly, you can't reach it because the laser is right back here. This is exactly where it's at. I fixed a lot of these. New ones are only 40 bucks. They're cheap. This is a brand new one. It's exactly what's in here. It's exactly what's in the current external uh, super drive for, uh, for Apple. And what used to be in the Mac Mini, what used to be in the iMac. But Apple did not remove these because optical is dead. They removed them because they were spending a fortune taking the computers apart and the iMac is a bitch to take apart. Talk about some serious time. Even if you got skills, and I had skills, baby, that sucker is a bitch to take apart. Just to reach the super drive to swap it out with another one. But Apple's spending a fortune just because there was just a little pissant amount of dust on the lens because the cooling fan assembly was sucking and ventilating air throughout the system and it was drawing all that air in through the super drive. And when you, you use your super drive like a freaking air filter, okay, what's going to happen is that dust is going to get deposited on that lens. And then kaput. Oh, my super drive doesn't work anymore. I got a warranty or extended warranty. So it was merely a cost. The whole point of this video is the point is that the Apple removed this not because optical is dead or any of that crap. But they removed it because Apple was spending countless millions repairing MacBook Pros, Mac Minis, and iMacs because of the necessitated nature of the air ventilation and circulation through iMacs, Mac Minis, and MacBook Pros for the, uh, the, uh, the fan cooling system on this MacBook Pro is back here. It's sucking air in through there. So, I mean, you could see why Apple would do that. It has nothing to do with optical being dead. That is not why optical... You know, these things Apple say, well, optical's dead, and that's why we don't have optical drives and uh, iMacs and uh, Mac Mini. That is not the reason. Only the very latest current generation of uh, MacBook Pros and the next current generation of uh, MacBook Airs are going to be fan-free. But even fan-free, there would still be an issue. Of course, the MacBook Air never had an optical drive. There still be an issue of dust being deposited, but nowhere near as much with any computer that had a fan for circulating and cooling the processor, and also, also the graphics uh, processor. So that is the reason, kiddies, why. That's the secret, real reason. You heard it here first by the god of Apple, the guy with the Apple logo tattooed on his wrist. By the way, I never liked Steve Jobs. Just because you're a fan of Apple doesn't mean you like Steve Jobs. Co-creator of Apple, Steve Wozniak, the big fat guy with the ugly pig nose, he never liked Steve Wozniak. Okay, so the guy that worked with him, you know, I don't like Steve Jobs. I like Apple computers because it saved me an enormous amount of stress, but I am no fan of Steve Jobs. Everybody thinks, well, if you like Apple, you like Steve Jobs. Bullshit. That's not the case here, definitely. A lot of Apple people never uh, liked uh, Steve Jobs. So, But anyway, that's the reason. It's not because Optical's dead. Still buy these, they're great. But, you know, you can't use your DVD burner as an air filtration system. But the way they were positioned in every iMac and MacBook Pro and Mac Mini, there was no way around it. It was... Acting like a vacuum cleaner, sucking in ambient air with all its dust and depositing it on the laser assembly. So all these uh, MacBook technicians, people that repair these things, are like, oh fuck, we got another great computer, I gotta take it all apart, I gotta unplug all these cables and remove the super drive. So Apple is paying millions and millions of labor just to swap out super drives because there's just a piss ant spot of dust on them. By the way, here's another secret working for Apple te uh, tech support. 
right here where the motor is there used to be a vibration issue and instead of Panasonic fixing this people would open up that were upgrading their own MacBook Pros that bought them new they'd start getting reports and they'd show us pictures that there's a penny lodged underneath here an American penny so you'd actually there are countless thousands of MacBook Pros out there that Apple shipped instead of actually redesigning this part which is made by Panasonic to, create, to solve the vibration issue there'd be these pennies lodged underneath here the user didn't put them there and people were like oh you know this is a joke or something and all of a sudden all these people started upgrading their MacBook Pros like you know I opened up my MacBook Pro and upgraded the hard drive and for some reason there's a penny underneath this uh, plastic flap on my super drive how did it get there I bought this thing new from Apple <laughs> <laughs> Apple, Apple shipped all these brand new MacBook Pros, countless thousands of them, instead of like, let's fix that, you know, it's got a vibration issue. Someone thought, I tell you what, let's take a gigantic bag of pennies, which are of the perfect thickness to eliminate that issue, and we're just going to jam them in there in the assembly line. So all these people that opened up their MacBook Pros, you'd be like, what the fuck is that doing in my new MacBook Pro? I mean, I didn't buy this thing used, I bought it new. <laughs> so if you ever open up your MacBook Pro, it has a super drive, and you wonder why there's a penny right here, <laughs> an American penny, that's the reason why. Apple actually put that penny in your MacBook Pro. You have, likely, a magic penny in your MacBook Pro. <laughs> <laughs> That's a true story, by the way. So, there's a secret inside info on Apple. The secret real reason why they removed the optical drive. Not because optical's dead. Bull crap. It's not dead. It's that Apple was spending a fortune repairing computers that didn't really need repair. They didn't work, so that technically means it needs a repair, but they weren't real repairs. It was just a little spot of dust right here on the laser lens. All of that problem for a hunk of pissant little pinch of dust on a lens. Apple was spending countless, countless, countless millions fixing iMacs, MacBook Pros, and Mac Minis. So, kiddies, that's the real reason why Apple removed optical drives from their computers. You heard it here first. And I should be the person to know. And I'm right. This isn't speculation. It's hardcore fact. There's no debate. That's it. Get it. Got it. Good. Because I just gave you the facts, and you heard it here first. Catch you later. If you like this video, drop me a buck or two. Tell me to go shit, screw myself. Whatever makes you the most happy. <clears throat> Still a total fan of Apple. Never was a fan of Steve Jobs. But I am Apple's slut. I've got their logo permanently tattooed on my wrist. I love their products. I kind of don't like the way that they're, they're headed right now. But, uh, whatever. Uh, catch you later. Alright, bye.